Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are solving 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window function and common table expression. Okay, in this video, we are going to solve this question called latest login in 2020 and try to learn from it. So, yeah, let's jump right in. So, this is the 12th video of this series called latest login in 2020, and let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called logins with two different columns, user ID and timestamp. The combined column user ID and timestamp is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values for this table. Each row contains information about the login time for the user with the ID, user ID. We are asked to write a solution to report the latest login for all users in the year 2020. Do not include the users who did not log in in 2020. Order of the result does not matter. So here we have certain user IDs and the timestamp of their login. So for every user we need in 2020, what is the latest login? That is, that is the last login. For user ID 6, we have three different rows, but there is only one login in 2020. So obviously that is going to be the last login in 2020. Similarly, for user ID 8, we have two different logins, but the last login was on 30th of December 2020. Similarly, for user ID 2, one login, so this one, and for user ID 14, since there is no login in 2020, and the question says to exclude those rows, the only thing that we are going to have in our output is user ID 6, 8, and 2, and that is what we have in our output. So, not a very difficult question. What we need to do is we need to use the aggregate function maximum. So, from this table called logins, if we keep only those rows where the year of the timestamp column is equal to 2020, because that are the only rows that we are concerned with, because that is what the question says. And then once we have this, right, so let me just do select star so that we know that, okay, we are only going to keep those rows where, where the year part of the timestamp column is equal to 2020. So if I look at our outputs, so now we are only left with the 2020 logins. Now you can simply go ahead and group by the user ID and find the maximum timestamp because that is going to give you the latest login in 2020, right? So that is the maximum timestamp. So what we can do is we can simply go ahead and group by the user ID and return the user ID and then get the maximum of timestamp column and that is going to be the as that is what is required in our output last stamp. So last stamp. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Okay. So this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So this is accepted and this is how we do it. Not a very difficult question. All we had to do was firstly, we kept only those rows where the year of the timestamp column is 2020 because that is what the question directs us to do. And then we grouped by the user ID and to find the latest login, we simply use the max function alias this as last time. So this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.